Hello there and welcome to the Bearded Peacock, it's my channel where we talk all things Leeds United and a quick one for me really this evening, the rumours are popping off um, for Leeds now, there's what, three days to go, um, well four days to go, three after this, the deadline is Friday the 30th of August and like I said it's popping off with rumours today for Leeds United fans to get their teeth into and it's what we're going to do today in this video no music no anything else just me talking about Leeds United so and the rumors of course so we're going to get into it now obviously Mano Solomon has signed this evening which is fantastic news came into a little bit of mm, will he won't he sign kind of thing last night but I think Ajax were were the team that came in to um you know, into uh, sort of late, kind of late-ish um, interest for, for Mala Solomon. Um, but he signed for Leeds United and, uh, you know, Leeds were incredibly happy about this signing. Um, going on to say something along the lines that, you know, they'd beaten off uh, competition from top flight teams uh, in the process of, of uh, securing a season-long loan for, for Manor Solomon. And they were incredibly happy about it. They, they, they've, they've said something along the lines that they're purposefully waiting. And I think this is the reason why we've, we've obviously not had a, a signing before now for a month before um, Ramazani signed last week. And now Solomon in, we've got to do it quickly. I think we still need two more in. Um, at least, which would be, in my pick, a centre midfield player and uh, um, a left back sort of thing. But I don't think we'll get, I don't know whether we'll pick up a left back cover. They want the man to my left, which is the man by the name of uh, Roland Salai, a Hungarian international player. 27 years of age is Salai. And, yeah, look, he's playing in the Bundesliga for Freiburg currently. He did play. He came off the bench in Freiburg's game uh, over the weekend. Um, so, you know, he's still actively playing for Freiburg, but he is very well liked by Leeds United. He came out last night by the Athletic saying that Leeds are, they like him. They're exploring a deal for the Hungarian international um, so, yeah, let's wait and see what happens there. There's been further reports today saying Leeds are pushing hard for this signature. It's hard to know what to believe, isn't it, of course? But Salai seems to be uh, one that is very much liked. He is um, a very versatile player, it has to be said. I think he can play on both wings. He can play on um, in the 10, of course, which what I think he would be signed for. And I think he can actually play up front as well. So very versatile is Salai. For me, that would be one that we would like, you know, need to get done. Nine million euros is said to be the fee. So he's not overly expensive at all. So we'd like to see that one get done personally. Let me know in the comments there below how you're feeling about it. And then there is the option of the centre midfield uh, man who is going to come in and fill that birth for us going forward into the season there's three names that i want to speak about one in particular the man to my right hand side in this graphic but the two others english-based players um the dutchman um hamer gustavo hamer and of course the danish man the, the premier league player currently philip philip billing now hamer we put in a bid, apparently, £13 million yesterday, which was rejected. Now, what I will say is Leeds United, according to my sources as well, who will name, remain unnamed, um, they have told me that Leeds United won't be going back in for Gustavo Hamer. It will be done there and dusted. So he, I don't think, will sign for Leeds. Um, I think he might sign for somebody else, but there you go. Also is... Uh, Philip Billing, the Danish international, formerly playing, of course, for neighbouring Huddersfield Town a long time ago. He's played for Bournemouth now for some time. Um, he has been linked with Leeds United. I think Bournemouth are keen to get rid of him. I don't really know why, because he's a smashing player. 
Also, Sheffield United are interested. I think Sheffield United might just have the edge on Leeds with this one um, because Leeds or Ayo Tanaka. Sorry if it went out just now. I think seemed to be having them. issues with the Wi-Fi. I don't know why. Bye. So there you go. Um, Ayo Tanaka, isn't it? He, we are in talks with Ayo Tanaka. My source has confirmed it for me as well. Leeds looking to get Ayo Tanaka over the line which will be fantastic. We've been linked with him for ages. Plays for Dusseldorf in the Bundesliga. I think it's Bundesliga 2, actually. He is currently playing in. Let me just find. Um, yeah, they're, they're second in the league. Only three games played. Ayo Tanaka has played all three of them games. And has played the, th the full 90 minutes in every single one of them games in the middle of uh, a midfield five by the look of it. Tanaka can play either centre mid or defensive mid. Yeah, get it done. I think this one, it doesn't seem that e you know that hard to get done. Tanaka is a, Japan a Japanese international, 27 caps for his country, eight. Goals um, would be uh, the first Japanese player, surely, to play for Leeds United, other than um, Indonucci, wasn't it, a few years ago, but he never really was in the first team, didn't get a look in to the first team, and, 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 and I think he was he headed on to Scotland recently, didn't he, for Celtic, but yeah, he never got a game for Leeds, so for all intents and purposes, he, uh, you know, Tanaka would be the first, you know, First team Japanese player to, to play for Leeds, um, as well as, uh, of course, Manor Solomon is the first Israeli player to play for Leeds, and uh, Roland Salai would also be the first Hungarian player to ever play for Leeds. So, a lot of firsts in this transfer window, potentially, as it comes to a close. Let me know how you're feeling about this. Who would you like? For me personally, if we're getting two in, sack the LB off the, the left back and go for Salai and Tanaka here. Uh, Hamer seems a little bit too expensive, um, and I think Billing potentially is going to go on to Sheffield United because Hamer will leave for pastures new, probably not Leeds United, but somebody else other than Sheffield United. Let's wait and see. We all want to see him maybe to come to Leeds, Hamer, for Chris Wilder's tears, don't we, really? Because he absolutely hates... Leeds United, he's got a real, real stick of his backside about the club. It would be something to behold his reaction to, to Hamer going to Leeds, but I don't think it's going to happen. I think our man in the centre of midfield will be A.O. Tanaka. Let's wait and see. Thanks a lot for watching. Marching on together. I'll see you on the next one.